everybody and welcome to another edition of our coverage of Kenya's August 2022 election. My name is John Allen Namu. I work here at Africa Uncensored. We've been following this election ourselves, perhaps not in the way that the traditional media have been, but we've been doing more analytical work with, with regard to this election and in, indeed it is time for analysis if you've been following these elections and if you are a Kenyan especially, then you will be fairly frustrated by the rate at which numbers um, from the presidential election in particular have been flowing. At one point in time, the provisional results were really moving and now it's slowed down almost to a drip um, with uh, claims that now, you know, um, some of the mainstream media houses are counting once again in studio. Today we're going to be discussing um, the mathematics around it as well as some of the fake news, disinformation that has come out of these past, over these past two, three days um, of the election. Incredible amounts of fake news coming from some very, very big accounts. And in studio to help me discuss this, I've got three brilliant guests. Let me start over here to my, to my right. I've got uh, Chris Orwa, who's a data scientist. Thanks, thanks for coming, Chris, and it's a long time. Good to see you. Good to see you, yeah. too. Back on set, uh, Purity Mokami, data scientist, data journalist, a very big friend of Africa Uncensored. Thanks for coming again, uh, Purity. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, again, another partner of Africa Uncensored, Odanga Madum from Odipo Dev. Odanga, famous over the past couple of months, um, over the, ca the, the brilliant work he's been doing with Mozilla in terms of holding the big platforms, I mean Twitter, Facebook, to account with regard to uh, misinformation, disinformation. Asante, thanks for coming again. Um, and of course, we've also been doing our own spots of fact-checking here at Africa Uncensored via Piga Firimbi. Our team of fact-checkers have been really looking into what claims of, uh, what claims what misinformation, disinformation, mid-information exist on the interwebs, Tracy Bonareri. Um, is here to give us what's what uh, with respect to what's been going on, on on the interwebs. And I think I'll start with you, Tracy. Tracy, what have you found uh, recently that's becoming something of a bit of a major concern um, with respect to misinformation, disinfo? Uh, so, mm -hmm. with fact-checking, our sources are very important. Yeah. So, we have come across various accounts run by prominent people in the political space in our country mm -hmm prematurely congratulating mm. people who are vying under their parties, yet the IBC has not declared those people as the victors in the various posts they were seeking to fill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of other things that we shall share. We shall be sharing. Then, yes. Huh? Yeah. So, so I think you have like a media card as well that you had wanted to talk about. I'll come back to you on that um, okay. shortly. Odanga, mm -hmm. Tracy's touched on something that a lot of people have been speaking about since the end of, of um, you know, of voting, on, or at the end of voting day, and when the results started to come in, especially, you know, from midnight of, of uh, the 9th going into the 10th. In the morning, you had people who are winners. In the afternoon, they had lost. In the, in the evening, it was a dead heat. Like, where are we? And, and some very, very prominent accounts of very prominent politicians have been spewing this, this uh, fake news. What, what, where are we at now? It's, I think it's so crazy because I've fallen for all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen for all of it. Yeah. All of it. And I think that's like the premise that I'm going to write from mm -hmm. because I've literally fallen <laughs> for all of it. Yeah. You know, and I think I would, I, this, the running list of rumors mm. around this election is getting long. Mm -hmm. So today morning it's ringing. The first day that we had it was people declaring winners. Yeah. So we went to sleep one, one uh, for Langata, it was, you know, Nixon Korean was winning when we yeah. were going to sleep. We woke up with the one. Yeah. The one I fell for was Homer Bay. Yeah. I, I felt, did you fall for that one? Mm. I did too. I yeah. <laughs> no, but, but, but this something tells you that this election was closely contested in all levels. Yes. I don't even station. know whether yeah. it was, I still don't even know whether it, because I had not seen the numbers. And this is Gladys Wanga versus, of Gladys course, Wanga uh, versus yeah. Kidero. Yeah, Kidero, yeah. Yeah, and mm. so I've fallen for all of it. Um, and I'm just trying to grapple with. Mm -hmm. how expansive <laughs> this, yeah. this thing is um, and you know we as expected the day before when we had yeah. this conversation I did not think that the plunge into this you know what we're calling the post-election twilight zone mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I did not expect it to be this deep. This deep and, and this yeah. long running. Huh? Yeah, and what's interesting is that the interventions that the platforms made, remember now the things that they said they would yeah. do, election centers, mm -hmm. labeling, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, those things are not working. Mm. Mm. They're actually not working. Like You're, Twitter, for instance, has done like, uh, like every time I see someone posting results, there's, there's, a, there's a note yeah. at the bottom. Exactly. That's labeling it as, you know, results have not yet been declared by the IBC, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that it's not working. It's not working because people are still falling for it. So then now what happens? What happens? It's time to hit what we call in, uh, one of the things I didn't even realize is that you could slow down. Yeah. Platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, again, like we talked about the other day, freedom of speech is not necessarily freedom of reach, mm -hmm. but freedom of speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so there is, there are certain protocols within platforms yeah. that can actually allow them to slow down the speed at which information travels throughout the platforms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And perhaps one of the measures that might need to be taken yeah. to try and combat this type of thing. Because one very unique characteristic that we need, as she's rightfully mentioned, mm -hmm. is that we have super spreader accounts. Yes. The biggest purveyors of, the misinfo of a lot of the misinformation, and I would dare now call it this is a very direct attempt at disinformation. Yeah. Because what we're seeing now is an attempt at manufactured consent. That's true. This is very clear now. That's very interesting. Yeah. And, and just a note to um, all of the people who are watching. Our team at Bigger Firimbi is working on a list of all of these super spreaders of misinformation, disinformation, accounts that have been spreading tweet after tweet, message after message, Facebook Live as well, yes. um, with respect to results that have not yet been verified by the IABC. It is within everybody's right to tally results. And, and, and I think it was clear that everybody's results that were being tallied were provisional. They were not the final results. They were being tallied from the Forms 34A. And now what's happened is that those Forms 34A have been transposed to the 34Bs, and the, and the tallying um, uh, process right now at uh, BOMAS of Kenya is what's going on. And I think mm. they were at 50 to 60% done mm. as at maybe 10 o'clock this morning. So there's still some ways to go. And I'm not going to be the person who says, okay, guys, let's relax, what have you. But when you're looking at these accounts, take it with more than a grain of salt, you know. Um, I, I, mean, I want, I want to get that. It doesn't matter who yeah. it is coming from. Mm -hmm. Because Martha Karua declared that Grinch had won. Yes. <laughs> and that news had spread, despite Twitter putting a label. Yeah, you it know, spread like, very far and like, wide. And you know, true. the weird thing is, like, now the thing is the nature of word of mouth. There are some people who are getting this news without a label. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Some and people are just getting, like, screenshots, screenshots of it. Screenshots of And it. it's being yeah. pushed on WhatsApp, and you don't know yeah, what's true yeah. and what's false. So even if you get it in your WhatsApp, try as much as you can to go to... Um, you know, especially when it comes to the, the sub-national level races, go to the media houses that are publishing this information, go to the IBC and find out, you know. Uh, Purity, um, I want to bring you in on this, uh, because yesterday you were on a very interesting panel um, on KTN, and we were speaking about, um, let's, let's now speak about the results, even aside from the, the, the misinformation yeah, and disinformation that we've yeah. seen. Mm -hmm been speaking about the results and one of the bigger concerns online right now is the fact that there are almost no results that have been coming into the mainstream uh, media platforms who have been publishing from the close of polls on, on the 9th. Um, it's an unfair question, but what do you make of that? It's, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't know what kind of relationships uh, mm -hmm. that media for the state think they are creating with, the, with their viewers. Mm -hmm. Because when they... Um, I think they started on a good note and quite a number of people relaxed and they thought, uh, yeah. uh, this time media got us. Mm -hmm. Imagine let's sleep by tomorrow. They will have told us this thing. Yeah. And then suddenly you start seeing, okay. Mm. That there's nothing coming through. It's, uh, sometimes it has stopped. Some other times it's like they've agreed, now let's stop at this, <laughs> at this <laughs> percent. Okay, now let's make this person lead. Or, you know, like yeah. um, it's somehow disappointing because mm -hmm. that's what is creating space for the avalanche of mm. 
the misinformation and anger. For me, the experience of falling for these things mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. has been the, 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 the emotions of anger, mm. like just wanting now to uninstall these apps. Yeah. Because while we thought, as Kenyans, now we have the transparent, ABC has given us these things, then you find people brandantly, like without mm. any r responsibility, like yeah. saying crazy things and really trying to take us back to 207. Yeah. It, it is not fair to the Kenyans who peacefully went to vote they've and went home, as mm -hmm. they were told. Mm -hmm. who, the, the, my, my, thing, my, my question is, who is holding these people to account? We, I thought mm -hmm. we had a, a digital law sometimes that mm -hmm. people, will not, people will be arrested if they're like, like spreading, spreading these things. But for me, it's mm -hmm. the, um, yeah. the lack of courage mm -hmm. for the Father State mm -hmm. to go all the way to the end, because I think they have the, the capacity and resources yeah. to do that, but instead to, 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 to stop and wait. I think we need to go beyond that line. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's and it's a not for them to announce. Yeah, but for, for what the truth that is there now that they've taken time to organize. Yeah, the huge truth that is in the forty-six thousand documents, they should either be saying it's the it's the it's the resource, or maybe the people who are entering our data now they have flattened out they have gone to sleep mm -hmm. or we are not sure of our numbers so we have stopped telling mm -hmm. you our numbers mm -hmm. but they should not play this game of managing kenyans perception to the what, truth what an interesting way of putting it managing people's um you know perceptions of, of what's happening in the election yeah. that's something to definitely watch out for chris before i come to you tracy there are two platforms or two media houses that are now actively, you know, building on their results tally. That's Reuters and BBC. I'll give you a second to bring those up as I ask Chris the question. Chris, now you are in the position where you're watching these things and you get frustrated, right? Yeah. What did you do next? Yeah, so obviously get a couple of friends, ask them, can you fill, it, fill up this spreadsheet? Yeah. Uh, you know, let's have some systematic way. Mm -hmm. Create a Google sheet, make it open to the... Uh, public, let yeah. someone fill it in, mm -hmm. and then as we invite more people, then you realize this is actually the worst idea <laughs> <laughs> ever. Yeah, because someone will just go change a thousand to ten thousand, mm. and then you have to track like where the changes happen because you do your summations, they're not yeah. uh, adding up. I know it was very easy, everyone was on social media, so like, mm. hey, if we put our heads together, mm -hmm. we can have this sorted out mm. with the, within two or three hours, but with scale comes so many problems, yeah. And I think even if you look at everything else, the problem right now is not the data collection. We've mm -hmm. collected the data. It's mm -hmm. in the form 34 is It's the verification pro uh, mm -hmm. process, process yes. that is the, the biggest uh, problem. And I think if you look at even media houses, you don't want to announce a number you're not mm -hmm. sure about mm -hmm. because you didn't have those verification checks mm -hmm. uh, in place. Because I think for IBC, you have to have like the party agents yeah. agree to that number. Yeah. You also have to have IBC official agree to that number. It has to tally with the other mm -hmm. uh, numbers. So the frustration is in the verification process for that. Yeah, but I think the point of having a Form 34A that is declared as the final result at the polling station is that party agents would sign. Um, the presiding officers would, would, uh, would also sign onto that, onto that sheet. There'd be notes yeah. on what happened in that specific polling station. And then when it's given to the public, you have a sense that that is the final document upon which that election was decided. But you are right in terms of of verification and i think this is something that even on the on online and and wherever people are having this discussion they're taking for granted right so how do you build this sort of you know this sort of system as an individual and that could work for for uh, you know i think the best system i've ever seen is how bpos operate yeah if you give them a task like you know i need my document digitized mm -hmm. they should have like a tiered level yeah so they have like what they call data annotators or data entry clocks mm. And then they have like a mid uh, supervisor, yeah. and then there's a uh, second supervisor, and then like a final supervisor who mm -hmm. does that. So all those areas have different tools that you have. For example, I just want to detect outliers yeah. in my data. So if you change a thousand to ten thousand, yeah. I can only come up to my system like, how comes I'm having this skewed mm -hmm. data mm -hmm. uh, for that? So the other tools we could use to look at why am I having variations? Mm -hmm. now, if I take let's say par 
let me sample counties, yeah. check the variations uh, for that. So you have this mid-tiered supervisors who have these tools that can check all these variations in the data mm -hmm. and ask a counter check when they don't feel confident with that data. Yeah. They give that stamp of approval, then it goes to another level of a verifier or a supervisor, yeah. uh, and then it gives a clean bill of health, yeah. and then that can be passed over as a verified information. Now, I want to go um, a little deeper into you know, certain laws of statistics that could help us get a sense of where the election is going and whether those kinds of laws apply. But before I do, Tracy, you've got on screen results from uh, which platform now? BBC. All right. So where, where are they now? Let's see. Um, 4.673. Um, with 52.8% in favor of William Ruto, 46.5% uh, or 4.1 million in favor of, um, of uh, Raila Odinga. And this is based on, on what? This is based on the Forms 34B or Forms 34A? It doesn't look like they're saying that. Let's see. All right, we'll try and find out whether, mm -hmm. whether it's a Form 34B, but I think it's, an, I think it's that they're using the aggregated results at the constituency level, the yeah. Forms 34B. And it, it is a bit of a shame that we are now relying on the foreign press to be able to do this. Um, but, but again, we are now in what I'm, I'm calling like the tallying twilight zone, where, like, like you mentioned, it's so difficult for um, a media house to go out with a result that even if it is provisional and even you could say it from the morning to the evening and every result that you announce and say, by the way, it's provisional, but how it's received will be like, ah, it's provisional, but it is based on the Forms 34A, which are final results, and therefore this is the final result. And nobody wants to run ahead of the, ahead of the IBC. I think the question to ask is, is, is what you are asking, Purity. And, and I want to ask this to you, Odanga. Um, should the media have just come out and said, look, um, we are now in this situation where we have our count. We have our, our final aggregation of the Forms 34A. Um, but we can't announce it because we are not the official body to say so. Um, what what would you think the media should be doing at this point? I did, I did, I did certainly know. All right, what what did you say? To my mother, you did a whole mm -hmm. op-ed yeah. about the mess. Mm -hmm. He's literally told everything. So maybe if I listen to this, this yeah. part of the article in today's column. Yeah. I don't know if it's in today's paper. The Daily Nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Daily Nation that tells that says dirty secrets, mm -hmm. right? So he says something here. I'll let you in on the dirty secrets. Media houses built systems to physically collect and tally forms 34B. Mm -hmm. That's 292 forms from constituencies. Yeah. And not forms 34A A. from mm -hmm. 46,229 polling stations. Mm -hmm. I am one of those who initially advocated for the tallying of the polling station and building the system. Mm -hmm. And then there's a part here where he said... Um, which he said that um, many of us were pleasantly surprised... Mm -hmm. Yeah, when IBC provided a link which actually worked, mm -hmm. but we had invested our money in data collection agents and not data entry clerks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's literally told everything. He's, yeah. he's, laid, he's laid the he's whole laid thing. Bare. He's yeah. laid the whole thing bare. Yeah. So perhaps, so people have remarked that the slow pace of tallying was because of lack of capacity, because of a result of poor planning and unpreparedness or an inability to manage what are essentially a rudimentary process. Mm -hmm. The truth, if anybody is interested in typing uh, or in that type of thing anymore, mm -hmm. is, that the, or is, that, uh, is that any of the big media houses can deploy 200 clerks, provide mm -hmm. them with computers and sitting, space and, and, and sitting space and build the simple software required to tally yeah. and display the results efficiently with high degrees of integrity. But, but I think mm -hmm. there is a need for going all that way. This problem is already solved, like yeah. Amazon Mechanical Turk. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you go there, you say you have this problem, I want this data to be entered, yeah. and they even have a, an inbuilt system of cross-validation. Mm -hmm. So instead of one cell being entered by one person, three people will randomly be asked to key in that information. Mm -hmm. If all of them key in the same data, then it's agreed upon that that's the correct data. Mm -hmm. You can do that within two hours if mm -hmm. you have the money to, to spend on that. You go to, for example, you have all these people who have scanned documents, they like them to be companies who like to digitize. Yeah. You go to Mechanical Talk, you put in your instructions, mm. put up the money, within one hour you have like 
hundred thousand people all over the world because this is yeah. not specific to Kenya. It's just data entry. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Pur- purity. You had predicted that this was actually the problem um, that that media houses were having. Not so much a lack of capacity, but a problem with the structure. Um, with which they were receiving and tabulating results. Yeah. And it's a shame because I remember mm-hmm. listening to the Commissioner in charge of Technology for mm-hmm. IBC two weeks to election and mm-hmm. he clearly said we are going to share images. Mm-hmm. We are not going to send any text. Mm-hmm. So it, it's, it's, it's like, didn't they believe that IBC, w- what they were saying they would do? So it begs the um the the question mm-hmm. like maybe because of history yeah. and where we've come from we are not yet like we can't take IBC for their one like you're surprised that their website was working yeah. it was working in 2017 but we never um n- newsrooms never took the time that's mm-hmm. the time they would have done a re uh, like a mm-hmm. Rehearsal, yeah. rehearsal, you know. But, but you know, that's, that's um, I think, the legacy of what Odanga was saying the other day when we were here discussing a low trust environment, right? So where even when the IBC says that they're going to do something, you're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was it? What was it? Yeah. It's like they call the bluff. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the IBC, in a sense, is a boy who cried wolf. <laughs> because of the some of the problems that they had in 2017 mm-hmm. and 2013 before that now when they have actually done what they said they were going to do and how slowed yeah, down the environment everybody's kind of surprised but i think it's also um an issue with um remember how difficult it was at a certain point in time to gather all of the information from from uh, from the portal Right, so the the API was working in 2017. People were downloading. We're only get, we're only able to get to a certain point in time. Then now, you know, it went down. I think it went back up. My experience from 2013 was that we had to go to you know we had to go to various parties to collect all the forms 34A from across the country, and we collected physical forms, you know. What we did with them is another matter for another story for another day. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it starts with don't and ends with count. Um, you know, for what happened in twenty in twenty thirteen. So I think those were some of the the problems. And, and but I, I was going to say, yeah, well, they have given these secrets, mm-hmm. and while everybody was getting surprised, but they put something together, and yeah. they were getting to almost forty two thousand mm-hmm. forms. My question is. Why, why didn't they continue? Mm. We see everybody's toto at the end, yeah. like at the end, all the forms that have, are up there, because th- one way it would have helped with the verification and uh, creating more trust for the viewers mm-hmm. is now when Form 34B start coming, yeah. they are able to say the total from your Form 34 is, mm-hmm. is this. The total on your Form 34B is this. And what we have heard mm-hmm. from bombers is this. Now, it would help put the conversation mm-hmm. ahead in terms of... Who is right. W- yeah. And, and mm-hmm. in terms of better systems mm-hmm. for, for the next election. Because I think we are on a journey in Kenya yeah. to, to elections without uh, violence. Mm-hmm. Because people fight when now they're, they're, all this misinformation, propaganda is... Mm-hmm. As I would say, I think CNN does it very well for American elections. Yeah. They, col- they collect their own data mm. and they put a very big star that this is our own telling. Yeah. <laughs> it might differ with the official mm. uh, numbers, but this is for us to get a sense where the election is. Oh, we will yeah. wait for the official uh, proclamation. Yeah, so I think it needs to be like a very big... My mm. word is the politicization of that information. Mm-hmm. You know? The, the issue is that now we're getting to the point where it's not really about even how the message is put out. Yeah. As we're seeing even from the attempts to label, at yeah. least on Twitter's end, yeah. and the lack of attempts to label from TikTok and Facebook, mm-hmm. yeah. that it's not so much even about how it comes out, it's about how it's received. How it's received. Yeah. But it's received the way it's received the way it's in a political <laughs> context. Like, that, I, that it's I such do an agree. issue. I do agree with that because, yeah. for example, if you announce a number, and yeah. it's different from the official number. Then people are like, oh, you must have been paid or something yeah. like that. Mm. So there's a very b- big 
low trust perception. environment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Perception. And, and then you come back to low trust environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. why were you guys pronouncing these results? The way yeah, and you can't, you can't say, say that the data entry guy did a, like a... Yeah, <laughs> and, and remember, like, if you're seeing a lot of the, the information that's going out online, one of the big rumors about yeah. this whole process mm -hmm. is the side of the media are trying to force so and so to be yeah. in power. Right? Like, yeah. So there now there's one side of political divide that is asking, why have you stopped? And there's one side of the because divide. because that's exactly, exactly the question that um, I think one would ask <coughs> Mutuma Maidu's um, article. Fine, the the structure of how you are gathering data perhaps didn't fit how the data was coming, and and the goal that you wanted to achieve, that's fine, right? But you were able to find your way through anyhow. Yeah. Why did the count stop? And that's yeah. where there's no clear answer. The stopping is yeah. where they just stop and they don't inform the audience. In mm -hmm. fact, last night I was there up to 2 a.m. following on TV and suddenly they said, okay, now we have changed. Now we have changed from our app. We are now going to the official <laughs> announced mm -hmm. resort. Yeah. Yeah, the, the forms yeah. that have been rendered out now at IBC, yeah. we are forgetting even because w why we sh they shouldn't proceed to the end and then even when there are differences like highlight the differences, mm -hmm. it's if we are in the spirit of transparency, let us be transparent. Mm -hmm. Even when mm -hmm. we get wrong, we yeah. say our total, by the way, at the end, mm -hmm. we, 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 yeah. we, we found this error. But also it can help to, mm -hmm. to check the from 34 bees that are being scanned, yeah. remember some, some of the mm, results being announced, okay, the final being announced, mm -hmm. sometimes may differ slightly with what is on the form. Mm -hmm. And because these forms are here in the portal, people will also start saying, but even what is being announced could be wrong mm -hmm. because why is it different from the form that we have here? So this transparency gen is not like fun yeah. It's it's supposed to be yeah. if we uh, straightforward. Yeah, I, I, think that, says, yes. you know, I think before they said uh, making a joke with Odanga whether this is too much transparency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was really thing. asking myself, you know, were we were we ready for <laughs> all this <laughs> for by then for real? Were we ready for this kind of laid bare kind of thing? Because what's <laughs> happened is that it has come from a very good intention. Mm -hmm. But it's the, it looks like it's lent itself to an environment. It's shown us what really was the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the problem was our environment. Mm -hmm. And again, I come back to the platforms because I feel like this issue would not be the case. Because I actually think t even then, despite yeah. the mess up with the tallying and everything, I actually think we'd have been very responsible. Mm -hmm. You know, like you saw when Itumbi was cut off yesterday. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> they, they have been careful about who they platform and who they, mm. you know, who they provide a platform to and who they, and don't. Who they don't. But what people don't know is that whereas Itumbi may have been cut off from one of the stations mm. yesterday, a Facebook page called Baringo News, yeah, <laughs> with a followership of hundreds of thousands of people, went mm -hmm. ahead to broadcast that very statement that yeah. he was trying to say, yeah, towards a very niche and targeted audience that was and, getting and it's already thousands out and there. thousands, mm. exactly. And, and then it moves from Facebook, it goes onto Twitter, what, and WhatsApp, then WhatsApp and it's chopped up on, exactly. and goes onto WhatsApp and and all of that. I I I want us to return to the face to to the fake news discussion substantively, Tracy. Uh, maybe you can you can you can pull up the the the, the media card that we were referring to, okay. um, so that so that we can talk about the kinds and the types of of uh, fake news misinformation and disinformation that's out there, um, for members of the public to be sort of like keenly aware. All right, so tell us about this one. <coughs> so mm -hmm. this media card is purportedly from Kenyans.co.ke. Yeah. yeah. A news website that basically publishes most of their content online. Yeah. So, and the caption to this image goes, Hasla Amechazwa, crisis meeting in Karen over voter apathy in Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, it claims that Mount Kenya... Can I say I fell for this one too? Yeah. <laughs> 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 But even the, oh, yeah, well, yeah, it looks, it looks credible. Not I mean, the caption the is image. the one I'd be so, like, So what's well interesting well is, well. The, again, yes. the propagation. I yes. didn't see this, yes. but I heard it. Yes. I heard of it uh, through, I don't even know, remember uh, where. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And 
you know, I was just like, yeah, oh, but, okay. No, I, I think it's some things that happen, like the, the amount of information you get, people asking you, is this correct? Especially yeah. people yeah. who know that you work with the media or you're True. able to look this up, so they ask you, is this correct? Then you're like, I don't have a way yeah, you know if it's correct. <laughs> and plus, just looking at it, let me just pull something else. Yeah. This is another one, a legitimate one by Kenyans. Okay. Yeah, you see the that. similarities. Yeah. This one yeah, is legit. Almost, this one is true. Yeah. yeah. And then this one, look at the layout and everything else. It's all the same. Mm -hmm. The colors. So everything. then how do you verify something like that? And <laughs> you know, like because you remember Odanga <laughs> is a practiced data scientist <laughs> who, works, who works in the field of misinformation. <laughs> misinformation. So are you Chris? So, I mean, we've, we've all admitted that these things were falling for them. How then? <laughs> what what kind of mindset should you have when approach, uh, approaching this kind of content? I guess. So first of all, as you've said, yeah. the caption yeah. is just just gives you yeah, yeah. red flags. Yeah, it was giving me. Uh, yeah. Asla, <laughs> who is this? Who's writing? Like yeah. This? Yeah. So then, uh -huh. uh, for Kenyans.co.ke, yeah. you go check on their website because mm -hmm. it's already there. Yeah. If it's not there because this one wasn't, yeah. you check once they upload content on their website, yeah. they further push their content on their Twitter. Yeah. So if it's not there, then it's, it's non-existent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to speak for a moment about who might be behind this kind of push. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, if any, anybody with Canva can create something like this. Yes. But it looks like there's specific accounts um, focused on doing a very specific job of misinformation, misinformation. Anybody prominent that we've all seen um, that has been pushing so, this out consistently? So maybe if I can start, yeah. is we are now firmly, mm. usually you take time before, I remember I met a colleague recently, one of the things they told me is that yeah. you can't write about, the, the, specifically the term disinformation because mm. it implies coordination and yeah. everything. It's very hard to write about that every day because actually the truth is a lot of the information disorder we see is just it's off, just, just chaos yeah you know but mm -hmm. we're now getting into the territory of manufactured consent mm -hmm. you know where both teams are releasing announcements that they have won yeah you know and so the truth is mm -hmm. actually one of them yeah is I might be I, can, lying. I won't see if I can pull one up that I saw just before we went on there, but keep going. Did you see the clip of the secretariat, the Azimio secretariat? Yes. They said they yes. them dancing. Oh, uh, yeah. So yes. that, I think it was on WhatsApp. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's basically in response to, mm -hmm. to the Tumbi's broadcast. Uh, so so yeah. misinformation is being fought by misinformation. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we are now in the point. Uh, again, look look, look at this one. Eh? And this is coming from. Yeah. This is coming from both of the official, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> camps. Look, look at this one. Yeah, though. Yeah. I mean, it, I, it's it. not saying no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you on my phone. Yeah. Um, I mean, this, these are some of the ones that um, that it's not saying anything specific, but the message is very clear. This is from uh, Hassan Ali Joho, yeah, um, that's, uh, Joho's yeah. account, <laughs> right? Let me show it to the camera, right? So I showed here, right? So. Can oh right, victory, victory loading. Um, you know, Juma Karim. So you see, every one of these politicians is saying this, and and I think mm. Kenyans have picked it up. It's like everybody has their fifth. You know, <laughs> or oh, Ruto the fifth, Raila the fifth, Sijuinani the fifth. You know, Wajakoya the fifth. You know, like even Wajakoya is there saying, "Yeah, wait, we see the official." <laughs> you understand? But that's yeah. happening because yeah. at the moment we have stopped. Yes. The count, the tallying, yeah. the totaling, mm -hmm. where where we are under expectant, we will see the end of everything. Yeah. That's why for me, I think it would have made a big difference if the media houses would have gone all the way to the mm -hmm. end mm -hmm. um, to to give totoyao, yeah. totoyao and Guinea with with all the forms that are there yeah. because okay. when there is that gap yeah. the problem is that gap that is left there and a single kenyan like me will be like okay Sasa, i should have started telling my own things yeah. on but Tuesday. you know what, <laughs> what, most no that, yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what most people are saying yeah what what most people are saying is that okay fine watch at ngoje ibc but that's not how um the, the appetite for information is working at this point yeah. in time it's not lending itself to patience 
Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I'm guessing it's in the interim, yeah. Yeah. like how do you fill that gap with yeah. information that's so, credible? So yeah. Also, you have to think about it from their <coughs> perspective. Number yeah. one, I'm beginning to really understand this theory of trust, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the number one reason uh, a news outlet mm-hmm. is is bought into by an audience is trust. Yeah. If all of them go ahead to the final line, because mm-hmm. I'm thinking about them from an insider perspective, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Nobody wants to get it wrong because mm-hmm. that could be the tipping point for the decline of your revenues for the next five That's years. That's true. Yeah. Because no one would understand that you yeah. had a clerical error. A news yeah. brand is all about trust. Yeah. But the and question if you lose is, that, yeah. you're done. The but question yeah. is, mm-hmm. let me ask, how bad would the difference that they expect from their totals would that be? I'm saying this because yeah. Yeah. we we did this the rerun oh, yeah. for for 2017, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's not like we had the massive resources and the massive number of people. Yeah. And some of our numbers were literally telling with the Kims, yeah. Kims. Yeah. So so to, to to in my view, I don't think even if they hand an error, which I probably think they don't because mm. I'm sure they are using people they've sort of vetted, mm. Mm. even if they hunt to hire them quickly. And also to some extent, unless they are like <laughs> really bad people, yeah. bad apples among those people entering, yeah. when the Form 34B start coming, when you had already entered from 34 is mm-hmm. it's really easy to check your number yeah. whether it's totaling to this from 34 b mm-hmm. and then you're quickly able to see which mm-hmm. we, we, which uh, to check your number to see you're not there and, and correct where you need to correct you, yeah. you see like once from 34 b uh, started coming it, it gives you a window to verify what you and Entered. Yes. So, and I know they have entered. Me, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think they stopped in putting the numbers. I think they stopped displaying mm-hmm. what they have entered. <coughs> but correcting those errors, how long would it take? But you see, mm-hmm. I think n- the gap is being created in yeah. terms of are supposed to report the news as it happens without any yeah. manipulation, without any bias, without yeah. any bias, right? Yeah. So when you collect the data or go to a polling station and say IBC announced this, you're just. Uh, passing by the information. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you're collecting the data, mm-hmm. storing it, mm-hmm. and making a conclusion out of the data, you're not actually manufacturing news, if, mm-hmm. you, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay, maybe this is a job of a statistician. Mm-hmm. This is not a job of a journalist. <laughs> now, <laughs> we, have, we have two statisticians <laughs> here. All right. Now, now we are, I am the journalist. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not my job. All right. Let us walk out of the set. Let us walk out of the set. I'm going to ask you guys one by one. All right, yeah. Chris, yeah. how would you have set this up um, for a newsroom for us to be able to have the kinds of the, the, the results that are coming out, as well as the credibility? Yeah. Um, um, of like an open and transparent process where even if there are clerical er- errors in data entry, for instance, yeah. right, or data porting, right, that we're a- very quickly able to say, okay, fine, here's where we made the mistake. How would you set it up? Uh, I think the best thing is to report the data yeah. as IBC is announcing. When you're having different TV channels mm-hmm. and they have different tallying numbers, it tells yeah. you that the problem is how they input the data into mm-hmm. the system. Mm-hmm. Someone might decide I'll go by constituency. Mm-hmm. Someone might decide I'll go alphabetical order. It might be there is no actual manipulation, but mm-hmm. because how you s- you sample your data, yeah. So it has to be very clear how you either sampling, mm-hmm. are you just getting what IBC is, or say so like we're using a timeline. We're going to the portal. Yeah. We're using a timeline, or yeah. we're going by alphabetical mm-hmm. order, and that should be very. Uh, it should be uh, very clear. So so yeah. a media house should. Um, the next time we do this, say, okay, fine. We're going to be gathering results and we'll be gathering them as they come in. Not yes. alphabetically, but as they come in. Correct. Okay. Uh, perhaps how the systems were set up, mm-hmm. it was set up to favor constituency mm-hmm. uh, or any other uh, reason. Mm-hmm. And that's what pulls uh, the major uh, differences. Another thing is, as you receive uh, data, I think when we just have the, the numbers, mm-hmm. you can say we have them from... These are the list of the counties we have. We have yeah. 10% of this county, 1% of the county, because you expect as one stronghold, as mm-hmm. you get more data from one stronghold, that difference moves. And I think that fluctuation of emotions where one candidate surpasses yeah. another, and then like, no, 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 something must mm-hmm. be happening here. For you to manage that expectation, mm-hmm. 
that additional information, you just have like a, like a bar chart and just yeah. say we have 10% of Kisumu, 60% of mm -hmm. Uwasi Yeah. That additional bit of bar chart will just make everyone at ease like, ah, oh, we know because we have just sampled more okay. from one uh, county. All right. Purity, how would you do it? F first of all, before how I was saying how I would do it, b because I'm a mother and I am, I, I think Kenya, <laughs> people yes. watching us, you know, they are not statisticians, I've been <laughs> thinking. So you know what has been happening? Mm -hmm. With the when Chris says they won't tally them as they come, yeah. it would have become impossible at some point unless they have the same number of p uh, uh, people entering yeah, as correct. the number of POs uploading the forms, mm -hmm. so that right. as it is seen there, it is entered. But in this situation, what happened is like um, you know, like when you have bash or mm. parties, especially back in the village, mm. and th there are usually many women peeling potatoes, right? Mm. And they are peeling and they are throwing in a big mm. sufria. They are peeling, they are throwing there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you're cooking, at the end, yeah. now there is a lot of peeled potatoes in a big sufria. Mm. What, 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 th that's now the IBC portal. Yeah. Th the potatoes have been peeled and being thrown there randomly, and mm. then uh, they are a lot. And now we are trying on waiting on the other end, mm -hmm. trying now to pick. This sign, there were four people peeling, mm -hmm. and then the other sign, there is one person one picking yeah. one potato at a time. Yeah. But that's, what no, that's not what women do when they are cooking. Now once they are peeled, we pick them or we just pour all of it yeah. together in one place. So mm -hmm. um, I've been proud to see some techies mm -hmm. trying to write something that t helps to pick them in a big <laughs> in a big way yeah. the, the OCR like yeah. the the group OCRing and um, trying to extract these things in in mass yeah. uh, because of the way the, f the the forms are filled by handwriting mm -hmm. I don't think that is going to be easily successful Chris, right now Chris, sorry before mm -hmm. you continue Chris mm -hmm. you had tried that what was your level of success yeah. As a, like 60% yeah, uh, accuracy yeah. because uh, OCR is affected by so many things. Orientation, if, if the paper is upside down, yeah. it affects mm. it. The amount of lighting that was there when the photo was taken, the legibility of the handwriting mm -hmm. uh, for that. So it doesn't favor all those uh, variation. So you end up with a very poor uh, quality. Mm -hmm. And so I, th I think the best way to do it is to run an OCR first and then have a human go through it. Mm. So that where you're missing uh, the data or where you feel like you didn't collect anything, so that the OCR will half the job by 60%, if yeah. it's 60% accurate. Okay. Yeah. So but so back to your yeah. question in terms of how I would set it up. Yeah. It's first of all thinking the question, uh, the, the, the point Chris raised earlier on, mm -hmm. on building verification mm. s system or process. So like, um, before the election, mm -hmm. IBC has been publishing a lot of data. Mm -hmm. The biggest one, the number of registered voters, voters mm -hmm. by polling stations. Mm -hmm. It's there in their website. Mm -hmm. So that, mm, that's it, that is what you have in, in your basket mm -hmm. before now, before even the election day. Yeah. Because the number of registered voters mm -hmm. that was given in the Gazette notice will really help you in verifying the person who is reading the forms here mm. with whatever is filled there. Because so you Because obviously if there are more results than the number of registered voters per polling station, then there's a problem. No, there is even a cell that mm. the, the, the PO has to write the number of registered voters in mm. this polling station. Mm. So immediately you enter it, you should be able like to have a, a formula that checks you with whatever was in Gazette and so that if the person entering the data because he's a human and is, if he's trying to play uh, cat and mouse games with you, you will catch him quickly and throw him out of the team mm. so that you also streamline the people entering the data and so that you have more trust. Yeah. You see, we, it's not just the IBC, we are not, we are not even trusting <laughs> the people we want to extract <laughs> the data from. So, yeah. I wouldn't, so what the first, uh, the day for election, that's what I spent doing. Yeah. Uh, writing a code that gives me the list of IBC with those registration code mm -hmm. because the forms, the way they will be put, they are put in the website, they have that registration code mm -hmm. for there. So that one helps me to quickly check the registration code and that registered voter is one of the, 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 the columns that mm -hmm. helps me to quickly get someone who is just entering numbers for the sake of entering. Mm -hmm. yeah, like 
Chris, I'm sure he's aware of like uh, other other things you can do to other formulas you can put to even just um, in your Excel or whatever system you're using, mm -hmm. where it can even just color for you rent if if something might be amiss, so that mm -hmm. you're able to be more sure mm -hmm. of the data you're getting. So that's why I've been saying preparation. Yeah. Those people who are going to tally 2027, immediately <laughs> we finish this one, mm. we, you sit down and start setting these things up because they cannot be set up in a night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would have like a system that is self, self verifying, that is giving mm. me the, 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 the yeah. picture of the people, I mean, th that are entering. Yeah. After that, um, I think sh m newsrooms can either like, start saving money for these mm. systems yeah. and for having many hands but also I've been saying people can um, look into partnering with uh, universities mm. statistics departments you see people like us when it's numbers mm -hmm. like you're intimately related mm -hmm. to the numbers <laughs> and the pattern <laughs> of that number <laughs> so all these Statistics <laughs> lecturers, statistics mm. students, mm. if they are given like facilitation, we would have more than even the number of uh, POs <laughs> IBC has registered. Yeah. Uh, re now, uh, interacting with those images, even mm. if we, are not, we have not yeah. been able to uh, see them. I, I want us to go back, um, uh, Tracy, to, to the BBC or the Reuters, uh, the, the Reuters tab. Okay. Uh, because I want to ask now my next question about the numbers themselves and what's been coming in, what we saw um, uh, on the various uh, mainstream media houses, et cetera, um, with respect to that. So now, this I looked at this, BBC. yeah, so this is, this is uh, uh, BBC, BBC, right? I looked at it this morning, and um, whereas it has, the numbers have changed, the percentage, the difference in the percentages between William Ruto or Raila Odinga haven't changed that much. There have been marginal changes, but they haven't changed that much. Now, what statistically, how, how statistically can you describe that? Where there's some sort of stability in terms of the, the, the progression of numbers, and is it something that you can rely on in an election like this where things are coming in randomly and people have voted randomly? Is there anything that statistically you can describe to, to explain this phenomenon? Yeah, Chris. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. <coughs> so, so one of the things, uh, for, for this to be, let's call it stable, yeah. it means uh, we have to sample, do a random sample, which means yeah. you take one polling station in Homer Bay, one in Bomet, mm -hmm. one in Northeastern, another one over the country. So if you're sampling mm -hmm. uh, randomly across a country, you can use all parameters for that, then that number should remain stable. Mm -hmm. But there's a problem where you expect that counties that are in large cities, you receive mm -hmm. that information faster. Mm. So it means you expect this number to change because uh, we always receive information by filter. Mm. For example, uh, it's a good example. If you deploy a survey, yeah. mm. you expect people who don't go to work to respond fast. Mm. So the numbers mm. you're receiving from the survey yeah. will be from people who don't go to work. Then in the evening when other people come to work, they're like, oh my God, my numbers have changed yeah. because now mm. they've settled uh, down. So because we don't know how they're sampling these numbers, mm. if it's you know, fast in, uh, fast out, yeah. then it means this number is likely to change mm -hmm. uh, a lot. Statistically, when you have a large sample, mm. uh, then you're supposed to have whatever metric you're measuring to be stable. Mm -hmm. But that is heavily dependent on how you sample. Yeah. So one of the first things in statistics, like do you have a good enough sample size? Mm -hmm. Like for example, when you're doing opinion polls. Mm -hmm. Once you achieved that, is, is your sample representative mm -hmm. of the whole country. Mm -hmm. So that's where the problem is. So the sample might not be yeah. representative of the whole country. We might be missing a whole section mm -hmm. that is biased towards one candidate. One mm -hmm. candidate. Um, purity, was there at some point in the, in, in the early exchanges of this, of, of, uh, of, uh, of vote counting, was there a time that we could have done a, a random sample that could have given us a projection? I think so. Mm -hmm. And, by the next morning after election, me, I did a sample. So me, mm. I have been watching these numbers with my, with what I expect on my own hands, yes. and now like checking with <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, it wasn't like as a, a mm. big, big enough. Mm -hmm. But it, it's like what mm. D said, what mm. he's trying to explain is like what D gave uh, a scenario of when you cook 
mm. githeri or mukimo. Mm. You, you don't need to eat all of it to know that all of it got the salt. Mm. So, <laughs> for, for, <laughs> for, so I'm loving your food. <laughs> <laughs> First potatoes, now mukimo. <laughs> all right, continue. Yeah. So, for example, if different people were sampling, yeah. uh, and this is called the um, sometimes the law of range numbers, but mm -hmm. the central mm -hmm. limit theory, the mm -hmm. normal distribution. Mm -hmm. If each of us here decided, let me pick, because there are many f f forms in there, yeah. from all the words, I think, at mm -hmm. least each word has a form, even if there are like maybe some that have not been uploaded. Yeah. For, for example, if I took my sample, and got my percentages, mm -hmm. and then he, he, he did another sample, get his percentages, mm -hmm. he, we did this, uh, another sample, got mm -hmm. all of us in this room did different samples. Yeah. If those samples are not biased, you're not taking like me, uh, a lot from mm -hmm. one person from just to the, one the people who I want the other. to, uh -huh. to find out yeah. about, yeah. The percentage, mm -hmm. if, <laughs> if you're, you're genuinely taking like maybe one, vo one from 34A, mm -hmm. let's go even to as little as a want, mm -hmm. like one per want. Mm -hmm. And we take different forms, but from each from one a want. Mm -hmm. I am promising you because the, 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 the one maybe want, mm -hmm. you expect people in that area to vote in a certain way. Mm -hmm. I accept for Nairobi. Me, Nairobi, mm. people in Nairobi, <laughs> they, are, they are special. <laughs> but if you, by, by taking one of that, it, it will sort of give you the voting pattern yeah. for the country. And so all of you will be getting the same percent. Mm -hmm. Maybe difference, maybe point something, something. Mm -hmm. So you may, you, you, you already know who is mm -hmm. going to be. To, to be to be winning. Okay. Yeah. Odanga, do you have anything to chip in with respect to to trends and, and uh, when we're coming to what when we're trying to understand what the trend is in an election? Perhaps that's the kind of information we were talking about earlier that can bridge that gap, right? Where you don't have all of the numbers, but you have a large enough representation of of the country to Ooh. be able to make some sort of not projection, but some sort of trend analysis. Um, I'm not sure. Mm. I generally, mm. I mean, with all due respect, I think it's a good thing that you know mm. we can try and have experts fill the void. Yeah. The issue, though, is the rate at which the lies are able to be to the experts at getting yeah. to yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and another at, get, at getting to the box. Yes. yes. Yeah. You know, because that's the issue. And, you know, I've seen, you know, Tom Wolf and yeah. the rest, you mm -hmm. know, being, you know, you were on TV yesterday. Mm -hmm. But the issue is when you do the measurement of w how far each one of these things are moving. Yeah. See, that that media card we saw was packaged mm -hmm. in a way that was meant to make it go viral. Exactly. Right? Mm. And then you see also one of the other things is that, you know, the effort to try and fill in that gap cannot mm -hmm. be done now mm. it had to have been done in advance mm -hmm. so that yeah. we can That's simplify the information make it much easier so yeah. that we can get to the guys who uh, who lit the bonfire in Kibraji yesterday mm. <laughs> i don't know if you heard about that story right mm. so the, yeah there was a bonfire that was lit in kibra people are gathering that wait for results yeah you know so i can reach those guys because the way the word of mouth Mm -hmm. Tends to travel, yeah. you know. A lies get around yeah, yeah. the world. Yeah, before, yeah. The <laughs> before the truth gets <laughs> its matter. And, and, I'm, and I'm just looking at. I'm just looking at. Sorry, yeah. sorry, one second. I'm just <laughs> looking at um, at um, news from uh, from you know from Twitter essentially, yeah. from people who've been looking at the Reuters um, link. Mm. It looks like uh, there's something that's happened because. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, last forty four million four hundred and forty seven zero seventy four votes mm. and. Yes, um, either that or we are being fooled again. Um, th this thing is making the round. So I want, to, I want to check and verify for myself. I don't know, Tracy, do you have the Reuters link up there? Maybe we, we see DM whether her. it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, just, just click on it. We see whether it's actually... Um, whether it's actually accurate, what, what, what people are share and sharing around. Because this yeah. might actually be... What are the oh, that's correct, eh? Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, so then... That, is that Reuters? No, that's Google. Yeah, but, but that's the link that Reuters have been sharing. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
So that's 44 interesting. Million. Yeah, so, so there's someone, it. this 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 looks... 44 uh, million? It's 40, yeah. not 44 million, it's no, 4, it's 4 million. million. Four million. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to tweet this person and say, I've just checked. Mm. And, that's and it looks not. like, yeah, this is this is incorrect uh, information that you're sharing. They're trying to discredit um, them. Yeah, well, you see yeah, that? yeah. And I think just going back to that idea of, mm -hmm. you know, an information void is an incredibly difficult problem. True, so yeah. true. It, yeah. it, it, you might assume, you know, I, I go back to even trying to figure out how, because we knew this information void was going to come. Yeah. We suggested labeling. We suggested mm. election centers. Mm -hmm. We suggested, you, you, <coughs> get, you get <laughs> like the issues. We suggested promotion of authoritative sources. Guess what? Yeah. Those authoritative sources are the ones spreading the, yeah. the, the, or rather spreading the most misinformation. Yeah. And so everything that we thought would work, Mm -hmm. has essentially been flipped on its head. That's true. I was, if you yeah. go to, uh, I think it's, it's pretty, I don't know if you say yeah. that, that where you sort of feeling the problem is 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 us, because how we, <laughs> we perceive trust. Let's assume yeah. we had like a complete transparent, like uh, from the TAB have just been picked, mm -hmm. dropped to a tally center. Assuming that we had a system that could track everything else, would that have eased the the anguish we don't know. <laughs> no for real I, I we we thought that we remember we have always wanted you see what we have right now this whole mess this yeah. is what we, we have we, it's actually what we've always wanted exactly. we thought that <laughs> we wanted we wanted full transparency yeah this and, is and we've got it to an extent but there's something that um um patrick Azara had said hmm. yesterday that that perhaps is also part of the issue um he was he was like okay fine, we want full transparency. IBC has given us a data dump. It, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah, here it is. Yote, you know, it's like being given like a big mound of ugali. Right. So so perhaps it's it's not so much the fact that we have transparency, but the method of the method and the presentation, the delivery of that that information is such that. It's caused this sort. Of, it, it's it's almost like indigestion. You you can't. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's perf that's yeah. a perfect analogy. We're yeah. literally going through some form of indigestion. Yeah, but, but for me, I was if, thinking. Yeah. Mm. The, if, the, if we had, yeah, because the form is very simple, yeah. right? Mm. If we had that form and there was a a section where the numbers could be punched to, mm. because I think now the problem is summation. That's mm. the only problem we have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that we can sum whatever is comes in those mm. text boxes, and then you have an image just to verify. Yeah. if whatever information is there, if you don't agree. So I think there could have been a as, as tweak to the system, mm -hmm. like an E, you know, to ease the indigestion. Yes. Mm. So, <laughs> mm. But no. for me, I was going yeah. to raise that uh -huh. while the two lending camps have said, CC, our total for Form 34 is, yeah. is this, and another sign have said their total is this, why has the other people who are totaling theirs mm. not said, no, your total is different from ours. Can mm. we see where, or, mm. it, because if we had everybody's total coming to the same thing, mm. we would not be having this information. But more than yeah. that, everybody's method. Because I think, yeah. Yeah. I think Chris, you made the point about the method, and, and so mm. did you, about mm. showing transparently what your method for something is. Mm. And this also extends to the political parties themselves. Exactly. Yes. Mm. Because they are interested parties, yeah. and they have they have people who are following them religiously and who are constantly refreshing mm. to look at what 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 is UDA going to Imagine. say, what is, what is uh, Azimeo going to say. Yeah. They also have a responsibility to be able to fill that void and say, this is the method, this is how we are collecting. Mm. This is because but the if they voice want of credibility, Kenya yeah. Yeah. has not pressed them enough mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be able to say, okay, see, see, our total is here, even our exa even yeah. the links to the images we used are here, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and uh, all Kenyans would be now going through their links yeah. one at a time. And the voice of Mkenya is the media, is the for the state. Mm -hmm. yeah, they have yeah, refused to, to give us their totals. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Sorry, just, just before you make your point, Tracy, I want us to move on to something else, but, but, but as you're making a point, uh, Tracy, if you could find, um, and, and I think this is something that uh, that uh, that we wanted to sort of like uh, provide on Twitter um, at December, okay. and uh, he has this this image over here, uh, yeah. and, and I want to do it for the purpose of this discussing that's now to be that's know, malinformation, of, yes. you know, those malinformation, misinformation, of of yeah, <laughs> uh, and 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 describe certain terms and phrases in in his tweets. 
Um, and, and I'm sure this is the same yeah. in, in, uh, in UDA. I'll find another example for the same um, that we'll discuss. But Chris, you are making a point, then we'll, yeah. we'll come to that, yeah. Because uh, one of the things that I felt like we failed, as you're putting as more ancient citizen, mm -hmm. I think there could be a much more better organized people. Like, we are here for the truth. We're not here for, <laughs> for yeah. either camp, yeah. right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a developer, I'm a statistician, I'm a data mm -hmm. scientist. Mm -hmm. We set up a system. Like, I think back in the day when Ushahidi was trying mm -hmm. to create a, yeah. a very... That's nice what it started as. Yeah, yeah that's what Ushahidi started. And mm -hmm. we could have had something like that. Yeah. And then right, but right now, we could have put our methodology. Yeah. yeah. We could have shown the data mm. up to the granular level with a form, to, to the link to the form 34A, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and say, we are not the problem. If you think our numbers are wrong, yeah. Critique, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, critique the process us. in this <laughs> yeah. in this case, but I don't think when I was going all and trying to find someone yeah. to like collaborate, and then I was like, ah, mm -hmm. IBC got this, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the media has this too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I, I would, I, I can't help but also still think about mm -hmm. how that might still backfire. Yeah, how so? Because again, the nature <laughs> of how the attempts to manufacture consent are looking. Mm -hmm is that it does not matter how everything comes out, mm -hmm. right? People are not going to, the normal Manchi is actually not going to go and interrogate as far. Yeah. That's true. And so there's always a chance for politicization of whatever it is that you do. Okay. And, and the, I think, again, it boils back to the issue of how do we deal with an information void yeah. in a low trust society? Yeah. Because that's now the issue. It's a really For weird all, problem. Yeah, it's a, a literally really because problem, the, yeah. the issue is that, yes, you will try to be as transparent as possible. Yeah. But the media house that has been doing its own telling won't want to mm. refer to you because you make them look bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, like incentives. Yeah. Incentives are so important. I'm sorry, guys. I issue. just want to um, make yeah. a note to our audiences. I, I know there are some people who are struggling with sound on our, on our YouTube live stream. We're trying to fix it as as we go along, um, but but the sound is there. Just try and amp it up a little bit um, on your on your on your end so that you'll be able to hear that. It's, it's such a rich discussion. It'd be a shame not to not for you to not to be hearing uh, hearing it. But we are working on on that. Eh? Um, look, I, I want us to push on to now the the dangerous and uglier side of uh, misinformation, misinformation. Uh, Tracy, if you could just go back before we 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 look at this picture just to the description, right? So aside from the, the insults, let's try and insult, uh, let's try and ignore the insults, right? Um, he had published, um, this specific handle had published um, a tweet talking about um, the, the, the application workflow of the results transmission system and how it had been hacked, right? Now, hacking is not a new phenomenon in our in our election environment. Maybe now you can enlarge it, uh, uh, Tracy, right? Um, but back office application receives and, and uh, processes information, et cetera, et cetera, right? Now, the, the, the allegation here is that someone has hacked into the back office um, and tried both hacked into the IBC's own systems and the media's own systems, right? That's the, alleg that's the allegation. Now, in an environment where, where, you see, the numbers were different, then the numbers have stopped, then this kind of information comes out. From someone who's tweeting on behalf of one political formation, how do you receive, how do you, how do you debunk that kind of information? And who should be the person to debunk this kind of stuff? Because it's dangerous, right? Who, who are the other um, points of verification that we should be looking to to start to debunk this kind of information or verify it at the very least so that we know, okay, actually, there's, there's a problem. Vifaranga via computer, right? Mm -hmm. As an example. Um, Odanga, let me start with you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, would, I really wish Alphonse was here uh, yeah. because now this is family, mm. his territory. Within the like, realm of fact checking. This yeah. is now like, because he would know exactly where mm -hmm. this problem, from the sensitive aspect of... Yeah. This is now, we are now firmly in political territory mm. and anything you do can mm. and will be held against you. If you're the platform, <laughs> yeah. because there's all, like literally this is how platforms get banned, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. um, in countries. Because if you're the platform, yeah. it's said to take this down and you know this guy is speaking on behalf of, mm. of a certain political camp. What happens when they get into power? They exactly. Like, 
Sorry, you know, Tracy. Yeah. Um, uh, would you be able to find the original um, image that IBC shared of, of the results of transmission system? We see whether we'd be able but to find it and live fact check. Yeah, it. exactly. Sorry, yeah. Ca but but yeah. you know, like, you know, there's you're literally walking on eggshells here yeah. because yeah. what do you do if you're the fact checking organizations? Mm -hmm. What do you do if you're the platform? What do you do if you're the me the media house? I think probably has the yeah is probably probably the biggest amount of free range yeah. But you know if you're the platform and you're finding people spreading this kind of thing, mm -hmm. do you shut down the account? Yeah. Do you limit its reach? What exactly do you do? Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't matter what happens if these now typically the many of these guys are also aware. Mm. So I'll tell you something that's been happening to me since I started doing this work. Yeah. Is that several political parties have been sending me mm -hmm. emails mm -hmm. telling me that they're being silenced. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> I have nothing to do yeah. with yeah, them. Yeah. And so that's the issue that is coming in here in this specific moment <coughs> in time mm -hmm. that we are now getting to a point where even the debunking and pre-banking is becoming a sensitive mm affair. Now typically the right person to deal with this issue is IBC also needs to come out strongly yeah. and say that look this is what our <coughs> official mm -hmm. yeah this is what our official um, uh, assets are. Yeah. This is what they look like. We have not undergone any sort of operation or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Come out and clear the air. In essence they should actually be having a daily misinformation mm. rundown. Yeah. yeah, where they come out and say, "Look, today these are the rumors we have had." Yeah, and we just want to clear the air and tell you guys that this stuff is not but, true. But yeah, you, you asked instead about of having choirs yeah. at Bob, <laughs> <laughs> instead of having choirs singing at yeah. Bob, yeah. Chris, yeah, yeah. yes. No, so you have asked, like, what happens once like it's flagged as misinformation, mm. disinformation? Should that account be brought down? Should information so be labeled? So typically, mm. there is a process. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you see, for example, there's a strike, strike one, two, and three. Yeah. Or if it is found to be incredibly egregious, it goes through a tiered process upon which the account ends up getting taken down. Yeah. yeah. Now, something like this, this is not his first. We mm. know how much he's actually been putting out mm -hmm. over the past few days. He's probably clearly gone past that. Tracy, you've got the, you've got yeah. the original image. This just the just, original just let it tell us a, a little bit about whether it looks <coughs> is it similar to... They are similar. Yeah. Yeah. So the then what? Uh huh. So then what? The, the allegation is the is whatever he has yeah, now put in the yeah. 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 the narrative. And now, and now, problem. And now yeah. let me tell you one thing that becomes very interesting is that mm -hmm. many platforms had developed their infrastructure mm -hmm. to deal with directly false information, something that is binary zero yeah. and one. But the issue is the information disorder is that these are gradient. Mm -hmm. no. It's a completely gray area. Mm. And so their infrastructures to deal with that kind of information problem mm -hmm. is absolutely not built. It's absolutely not built for that kind of issue. Yeah. But I think yeah. we are forgetting yeah. some... It has to go to a... Uh, sorry, let's just sorry. let, uh, let, let yeah. the purity yeah. chime in here. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, I think we are forgetting that this affair mm -hmm. is not about IBC and we the fact checkers and mm -hmm. media only. Mm -hmm. There is an NCIC, mm -hmm. oh but yeah. we, 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 we and and and, 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 and there's the DCI, DCI and, and, the and there's the police and yeah. the police. But Be I was going to say mm -hmm. where he saw the hacking happening, mm -hmm. the DCI by now would have told him, okay, record, show us my record hacking. It happened. Yeah. NCIC would be asking him, please substantiate this, yes. or else this is a, a causing um, mm. danger to our peace. So the fact that, and remember, I think uh, before 2017 is when there was that social media law that was, mm. I mm. think it went through, like, yeah. th if cyber, it was someone crimes. else, if yeah. it was you yeah. trying to write such things, you know you'd mm. be arrested by mm. now. Mm. Mm. It's, yeah. it's, it's also the other um, institutions, institutions yeah. that we expect to be they, working. They, they, cannot, they cannot act hamstrung or helpless in, in, mm. in an environment like this when they've been speaking yeah. about it for yeah. such a long time. That's a, that's a good and point. And I think just to add to her point yeah. is that goes back to that work that we were talking about, the institutional presence, mm -hmm. institution building and accountability work. Yeah. That, you know, we've not had a thing from NCIC mm -hmm. since voting day. I think mm -hmm. 
okay, okay, except maybe the press conference they had about I think some st other yeah. stuff. Yeah, but <coughs> that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. I would like to jump in on NCIC and yeah. DCI. Because in 2013, uh, I worked on a project on hate speech yeah. and mm. tracking down hate speech. One of the problems is NCIC was specifically created for tackling hate speech, not mm. misinformation. No misinformation. Mm -hmm. And hate speech has a very clear definition. Mm. You must hate on a group of people, mm. either religious, tribal, whatever. Mm -hmm. You must have call to action. Mm. For example, if I claim IBC was hacked, that does yeah. not classify mm -hmm. as hate speech. Did I identify any group of people? No. Mm -hmm. Did I tell people to go demonstrate or burn things down? Yeah. So, by the definition of the law, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, exactly. what, what about the DCI? So also, DCI has thing. to have a criminal element. And, mm. and you see, that's why I'm saying, you again, all our apparatus, right, are, are, are not no, exactly, <laughs> they were set up to fail because they're not built to deal yeah, with this kind of problem. One of the things, yeah. for example, if you, let's say, work for a f financial company or a bank, yeah. and you're trying to track fraud, you realize fraud usually evolves. Mm. You build a system to like, okay, now we have what we're committing. Yes. Sending mm. the, then they evolve. Mm. Nowadays, they even mm. said, there's a very interesting one I received, like, hey, they, they take your phone and then they send an SOS message to all your mm. contacts for that. Mm. So the thing is that that fraud problem evolves. It's the same thing with hate speech. Yeah. No, sorry, uh, misinformation. First of all, we had yeah. 207 post-election mm. like we need laws for hate speech yeah. because it drove violence, right? Mm. Yeah, but I think this kind of comments are the ones So because this, this is a gray area where yeah. you don't know where to place it exactly. mm. with the yeah. current laws. So we have to come up with a law. And one of the things, for example, when people use words like hacking, mm. I actually feel like it's a disservice to cybersecurity. <laughs> <laughs> hacking is a, is a, is a very yeah. technically hard thing to do. Yeah. You don't go to a computer and say, hack IBC, mm. and then it gets hacked. Yeah. Yeah. That's not how you have to understand the network infrastructure, how they're set up, yeah. passwords, firewalls that are there. But, but, yeah, but perhaps, yes, in, in, in the face of a lack of, of laws to catch up with the changing environment of fraud, misinformation, disinformation, actually, hate speech. The changing the speech. And, and the, uh, what I'm learning is actually because something called the changing speech environment. Yes. So, yeah. you know, this is actually something called platformized political speech. Now, now in the absence yeah. of, of laws that define, decipher what, you know, that kind of speech is, are th and there are other laws that we can, like, for instance, yeah. evidence, you know, when when someone makes a claim like that, yeah. mm. and and it's linked to a specific, very specific narrative or motive, right? Isn't there room for for the you know for our law enforcement agencies or the NCIC or what have you to come in and say, okay, fine, you have said this, right? Yeah. We want for we want for us to be able to resolve this. Can you provide the evidence for that, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because the the there's the also the role, guys. but the yeah. problem Next is, <laughs> yes. could the we just check how many, how much, how many retweets does that mm. piece yeah. of information? Uh, from yeah. December. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just because also but there's that question again, the role that the platform is playing. Yeah, because the platform is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Yes, it's, or rather, it's giving this guy a platform. Mm -hmm. Um, and it makes me wonder whether they, you know, have you seen like these laws that are happening now in the UK where yeah. they're like. Number one, we need a mechanism to hold such people accountable. So what mm -hmm. happens? If you're a person who has above 100,000 mm -hmm. followers on any platform, yeah. you need to register mm -hmm. with a body okay. that is supposed to keep you accountable for the things you say because you effectively yeah. have as much influence as mm -hmm. a media house has by that point. So how many, how many retweets because and quarter tweets does it have? 102 retweets. 54 quote tweets and 599, 559 yeah, that's, likes. That's easily 100,000 impressions. Yeah, that's substantial. That's a lot. That's substantial in an environment like that's this. That's a lot. And that's yeah. ignoring how it's moved through DMs and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, TikTok. and TikTok and yeah, everywhere so I'm else. interested True. in this law. So once you register, is there a recourse that the government can have when you so, post this so information? The, now, the issue actually that happened in the UK yeah. is because too many people kept falling for scams mm -hmm. yeah. by influencers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so they felt to themselves that, look, um, we need to start figuring out how to rein in this industry. And because yeah. the influencer industry is heavily unregulated, yeah. they needed to try and figure out a way to try and sort of protect consumers from harms yeah. that are being propagated by 
influence. So it's not political? It's not political. Okay. okay. But in the same sense, yeah. um, it, those, some, of, some of those laws actually also now begin to apply to mm -hmm. areas of political speech, especially during yeah. elections. Purity, I don't want to chime in. So, on, on you, you know, let me just mm -hmm. finish. I was just going okay. to say that, you know, so in the case of someone like December, yeah. Because of the amount of followership that he has and everything, yeah. um, there would essentially be a body that would come to him and tell him, okay, similar to the media council, mm. we, you know, we'll take media houses to task when yeah. a specific complaint has been put to them and mm. everything. Mm. Yeah. Same thing. Mm -hmm. There's a so body that governs yeah. how they operate. Yeah. But there's, there's a yeah. final thing. So once, let's say, you violated some... Yeah. Could your account be deregistered? Could, you, could the government ask Twitter to... Yeah. Uh, yes. You know, cancel your yes. account or something. Yes. Like that. Yeah. Of course, now because for them the premise was coming from scams. Yeah, yeah. You know, criminal proceedings actually put against okay. you. Yeah. yeah. Because you've actually put a bit and switch on your own followers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tr uh, Tracy, I, I want to come to you in a, in a bit uh, with uh, some of the other instances um, that you found with respect to um, fake news, misinformation, disinformation. We're still discussing, um, um, you know, the, the numbers, etc., and, and the misinformation environment that has kind of grown and spawned around it, mushroomed around it. Um, we'd spoken about, um, about Reuters. And, um, and their website seemingly having, you know, posted wrong results. I've, I've just looked at it now again, and it looks like it's been fixed. Um, it, uh, you know, at the time when we had checked, I don't think we had done a refresh, because there's a bunch of tweets that I've received about the Reuters, uh, about the Reuters um, link. But now it looks like it's, yeah, it, it looks like it's been fixed, um, and things kind of, you know, have gone back to what they were before um, we were, you know, we were alerted to what was going on there. But I, I want to return to this, this question of numbers now that we are, I guess, closer and closer to the end game of being able to verify um, and tally the Forms 34A with the Forms 34B. Um, lessons, right? Um, what kinds of lessons should we be taking from this as data scientists? Um, this, this, this large data set of information that the country is waiting on on uh, the media on IBC to be able to verify what what lesson should we start to take Chris let me start with, actually let me start with you purity because you are <laughs> silent in this exchange over here <laughs> let, let me start with you like what what are the lessons that to you are kind of less like popping into your head uh, for me and as a um, data journalist more than you know it comes with a lot of weight on your shoulders mm -hmm. so the lessons i'm learning is to be more prepared mm -hmm. and to be more forthright mm -hmm. because i think some of the things i was doing on tuesday monday yeah the things i could have done mm -hmm. li li like it's like starting to engage with the na with the with the information overload from way before yeah i don't think uh, someone had mm, f from the platforms that i was seeing mm -hmm. People were, put, were setting up to report this on county level, at most at constituency level, mm -hmm. and yet that same IBC website had polling station numbers mm -hmm. and registered voters from that place. So it's to start engaging with the information from all the way before, like the way you took like the candidates yeah. and you guys put them on a on a on an easy to access platform for mm -hmm. Kenyans, which I think was useful. Yeah. That information was out there, but none of us was uh, interacting with it. And then to, to also have experts know, at this time is when they, I was, uh, I was telling someone, this is the time those of us who never go to the street to demonstrate, mm -hmm. this is the time we should be uh, <laughs> using our, s our expertise to serve the nation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, sh we should not have be mm -hmm. having um, uh, scarcity of people to input from the T4As, from, yeah. the, <laughs> from the professionals. Mm. Uh, so it's the preparation and to start engaging with material from the one go, not yeah. to be shocked. Yeah. Not to be shocked. Start to familiarize early. Mm. Yes. Although, I mean, to be fair, there's, there's, there's a bit of a caveat to that mm. when um, a, a body such as the IBC or any specialized body that any independent body that's supposed to be providing specialized information mm. isn't doing enough civic education. It, it robs people of that opportunity to actually interact with things early. But point taken, we, we should be 
we should be doing um, a better job yeah. of preparing in advance for, for, yeah, yeah. for things mm -hmm. like I this. I think we have been a community of just waiting to be told yeah. and not mm -hmm. questioning what we are being told. It's not just the elections. Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> just mm. before election is over, what Jimmy Wanjige came yeah. up with, and where I was like, oh, those are so many reports on mm. the photo I haven't interacted with. Mm -hmm. There is a lot, like even the census we haven't interacted with. Uh, KNBS releases a lot of material on monthly basis, which we do not and yeah. interact with. So I think it's to be more proactive and to be to set systems up. Okay. Are they on? Like I expect now newsrooms mm. to start having <laughs> serious data <laughs> data yes. departments. Yeah. Not just for elections. But for everyday yeah. um, use and interaction. Mm. That yeah. that's true. Yeah. Um Chris, what are your thoughts about kinds of lessons that you'd be able to have drawn from this election? Uh, I think the first one is to understand what they call the data generation process. Mm -hmm. Because uh, right from the but I think this connected to the civic education uh, yeah. from that we're going to get form 16 B's in uh, image format mm -hmm. 34 B's you mean oh uh, yes 16 16 oh, was from 2007 <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm going way way back yeah yeah, yeah so that, that data generation process and for me I think IBC would argue that we've done data collection exceptionally well yeah. we, we were tasked to give that data but then there is now the process of how that does the data re, uh, get into the final tally yeah. uh, for that. I think there's a lot of information that most people don't know about. Mm. Some people don't know how to go uh, about it. How to ensure if you're asked any question, you're able mm. to shoot an answer uh, back uh, for that. So I think this is back to, IBC would argue they, they're operating on the law, so they did whatever mm. the law asked them to uh, to do, but for, media practitioners or anyone uh, interested is to understand that data generation process. Mm -hmm. One of the hardest things to ever ha tell everyone, like, this is not a representative sample. Yeah. Like, bring this back to you and understand what is a representative sample because once you're doing statistics, I think everything is surely based off mm -hmm. a representative sample. If you don't have it, everything else is, is, uh, is wrong or whatever you're saying is not representative of mm -hmm. the uh, population. So I would pour my mind, my yeah. energies into helping everyone understand what is the data generation process. process. So if you want to complain, if you want to check irregularities, if you want to know whether that gap will remain mm -hmm. the same, that data generation process should be able. Will it make people be less anxious? Mm. We, d <laughs> we, d we, we don't know, yeah. but it's what a statistician can give everyone make it easier for everyone to, to be able to understand and be at peace with what yeah. they're seeing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Odanga, um, we are in a situation where there's so much misinformation that's flying at, at us from every environment, from every possible corner. What, what lesson are you drawing from this point in time, given, given the experience that you've had and the kind of prefer and, and perhaps how flaccid the, the preparations were, you know, in the face of what's actually happening now? Mm. Um, <clears throat> the first thing that actually when we were talking that struck me is where I wonder what Gen Z who mm. <laughs> didn't vote. Yeah. yeah, I do wonder what they're consuming right now. I'd love to know, you know, because I think like we're in our own bubbles. I yeah. do want to know what they're consuming. But yeah. uh, I think the second thing is that, um, yeah, one size fits all doesn't work. Mm. You know, so I'm beginning to learn, okay, fine, there are some solutions that you could think you could cut and paste here and think that they would work and yeah. then end up completely backfiring on you. And so we need to very much have litmus tests mm. in terms of trying to see what's going to work in terms of um, protecting the population from misinformation. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of information resilience that we need to try and see if we can develop amongst the amongst the populace. Mm. I think that idea of IABC having like a misinformation roundup every day, mm. alongside, and bringing it to prominence. Yeah. You know, that after Chibukati gives his briefing, the next person right after him is mm. coming and saying, we have identified the following issues mm -hmm. amongst the populace. Please take note of the following. This has not happened. And this, this has is, not happened. This is incorrect. This is the truth. Yeah. This is what a real IABC poster looks like. This was fake. Here, here, here. If yeah. you're on Facebook, this. All right. Or people on WhatsApp, this. Okay. 
and that the method of transparency actually matters as much as the principle of transparency. Mm -hmm. I'm learning that you can't just be. You can't just say that you're transparent. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, also yeah. have to be transparent the, and, the and be accepting in a sense of the, the mistakes that you could make in your attempt to be transparent. But yeah. that's yeah. it, because that indigestion, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like literally that's what happened. Yeah. You know, we've <laughs> just been given this large piece of gully and yeah. now we're just in a mess. Uh, <laughs> Guys, so, Folks, yeah. I, I want to say thank you very much. Can you imagine how quickly two hours has flown by? Oh, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> Can you imagine? And, and, and Tracy, I want to end with you. There were, there were two things, two spots of um, disinfo, disinfo that we had been looking into. Yes. Um, let's leave the public with that so that it's the last thing that they hear before um, we, we break our live stream for a bit and then come back later with a discussion on scenarios um, because there are many scenarios to be planned. Aya, right, let's go. Okay, it's interesting how all of you have mentioned the fact mm -hmm. that these forms are the ones that are supposed to be used to actually verify yeah. the, the results we are being given by various media houses and people on social media. Mm -hmm. So this is a tweet claiming that a polling station mm -hmm. that has 613 voters, a candidate, a popular candidate has... Mm -hmm garnered 991 voters. Yeah. Uh, no, votes, vote. sorry, yeah. not voters. Yeah. And this is not the only tweet. So this was shared uh, by so many people garnering so many likes. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, 359, it's the same document. So this is something called copy pasta. Yes. Mm. Um, where, you know, and look at that, professor, those are real, real influencers, where, yes. you know, a certain set of accounts coordinate mm. to post the same thing in an yeah. attempt to go mm. trending. Yeah. So you see them actually posting the same thing like with the same claim. Huh? Yeah. With the yeah. same claim and the wording is the same. And then when you check the account, chances are you'll find it's been used. Mm -hmm. You know. But that's, wait, so that's hold on. But that's, that's Nick Cheese, man. man. Just, just go what back. What is he saying? Yeah. Peers that can't got more voice uh, votes than but were registered a, voters. But real form. That's that let's team. let's hear from Tracy. Is it <laughs> actually real? Because I fell for that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also been mm -hmm. shared on Facebook, mm -hmm. so it's gone viral. Yeah. So the form, according to the IBC portal, yes. is true. It's Could correct. have been an honest mistake mm -hmm. by the Nini, but, but they all flipped. signed. Yeah. You know, and assented to this being correct, but the form in circulation is actually correct. That the mistake the was made. All right. This is from the uh -huh. portal. But yes. the IBC, when they were releasing the form 34Bs, mm -hmm. have now corrected it well, to corrected it. 199 for right loading. All right. So, folks, uh -huh. the form that's circulating is correct, mm -hmm. but it's a form 34A mm -hmm. that had a clerical error. Yes that has since been corrected in a form 34B. I, I saw the same thing in 2013, 2017. Mm -hmm. These mistakes really? happened. Sorry, Tracy, you have the forms 34, the form yeah, 34B. Yeah, the form 34B, it was from Stream 2 from yeah. Bomani Primary School. Mm -hmm. So they've corrected it. It's 199 now, okay. not the 991 not, uh, yeah. reported in the form 34 So the guy, <laughs> the guy just reversed the numbers. Yeah, and that's the point of transparency. Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not the promising that we will not make mistakes, but yeah. we can see... Mm -hmm. That if but mistakes are made, we can we correct can correct. Yes. But yeah. you know now, yeah. the media Charlie would have picked 991. Yeah. Yes. Instead of... Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So you see, and they should not feel ashamed for doing yeah. that because yeah. they should also have noted that and raised it mm -hmm. and ask at IBC during a news press, we have a question about mm -hmm. this, how are you going to... Do? Yeah. Transparency is not uh, perfection. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Transparency is not perfection. perfection. Transparency is transparency. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> like in, in the real, without describing, I'm using the same word to describe, but essentially that's that's really true. That's so helpful, Tracy. Yeah. Thanks Thank a lot. You. So, Chris Orwa, yeah. Purity Mokami, Odanga Madung, thank you so much for joining us for this this portion of the panel. Um, we've, we have uh, Louis, uh, who's been uh, taking note of our very interesting discussion. Purity, Odanga, you make it onto the wall twice. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm going to leave this one to you to hold. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So we, get, we, get, we, get, we give everybody, every guest that we get on the big picture, a bit of a token of our appreciation for you coming. Yeah, so yeah, it's not it's not so bad. Let's show let's show the public. <laughs> yeah. oh. And Odanga the consistency has <laughs> yeah. you too purity. Now today you have glasses and you smiled more. Oh. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty consistent. Louis, well done, man. That's a that's a really good one. Yeah. I hope you will have a nice photo of it to put on our profile picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All 
All right, right now we're in the zone where, of course, Forms 34B are being um, tallied and those mistakes that you've seen that are transposed from Forms 34A into the provisional results can be, can be corrected. After that, then, you know, the expectation is that um, uh, Wafula Chebukati, who is the returning um, officer for the presidential election, the national returning officer for the presidential election, will make that big announcement, who is the president-elect of the Republic of Kenya. There are scenarios to be planned for. Of course, you've seen there's allegations that are being made by um, um, Azimio, Azimio politicians who seem to have arrested or apprehended someone um, with the role of, of votes. We're trying, to, we're trying to verify whether that made it to the police station, whether that indeed was true. But there's these all sorts of things that are happening now that could impact what happens after that announcement is made. But thanks a lot for watching and please retweet this conversation. It'll be one to return to at some point in time. Thank you guys.